Close your eyes and focus on your breath. And then remind yourself to stay with the breath each time the breath comes in, each time the breath goes out. You need to remind yourself because, as the Buddha said, the mind is very quick to change. In fact, he says it's so quick to reverse itself that there's no adequate image or adequate analogy or anything else in the world that can reverse itself so quickly. If your car could reverse itself as quickly as the mind, you'd probably get vertigo. We're going in one direction, all of a sudden we find ourselves going off in some other direction, and sometimes even in a totally different thought world. Very different values, very different ideas. If you were trying to trace the way the mind has gone through its thought worlds in the course of the day, it would be really hard to trace. It's hard to remember how you got from one thought world to the next. So here we are trying to counteract that tendency. Because when you go to a new thought world, it's, you have new values, new ideas, new directions. And if you made up your mind that you wanted to go in a really good direction, you suddenly find yourself going someplace else. It's a real waste. So this is why mindfulness is remembering. It's keeping something in mind that your actions are important. And to be very careful about what the mind is thinking, where it's going. Otherwise, you can develop some good qualities in life and then throw them away. You can work on a project and then suddenly find yourself doing something else, throwing away all that time, all that effort. But here we are working on a path that goes to true happiness. Why would you want to go to another path, go in another direction? Because the mind has lots of different ideas about where happiness lies. And it can switch from one to another very quickly. So here we are to remind ourselves that true happiness comes from getting the mind under control. And we want to stay focused and we want to keep this direction going, build up some momentum. So that focusing on the breath really will make a difference in our lives. Otherwise it's just one more place to stop, one more place to turn around and then go someplace else. Which doesn't really accomplish all that much. But if you can stick with it, you'll find that the mind gets into a groove. It's like driving along and suddenly getting in a, in a rut in the snow, or a rut in the mud. But in this case, it's a good rut. It leads to, you to where you want to go. You don't want to get out of this rut. You don't want to get out of this groove. So keep reminding yourself to stay here, stay here, and then learn how to make this a good place to stay. So you want to stay here. And that desire will help overcome any desires that will pull you off in another direction. So once you get yourself set in the right direction, you stay going in that direction. You don't reverse yourself at all. It all depends on the strength of your mindfulness. So try to keep reminding yourself, this is where you want to be. This is the direction you want to go in. This is where you want to stay. That's how mindfulness makes a big difference.